Hello and welcome to another episode of Chinese Catchphrase, the game show where contestants guess the meaning of Chinese words and phrases using phonetic clues and literal translations. I'm your host Adam Zhang. I'm here again with Justine, the winner of the uh, mini lightning round with Renee. Yay! So Justine, uh -huh. what's your secret to winning lightning rounds? Yo, there ain't no secrets. It's just you just gotta know your stuff. Oh. And I just do it and she failed to deliver. You just got to know your stuff, take that to the bank, Another and one. make a million dollars. <laughs> All right. So the category this week is Cantonese slang, where I will provide you with a proverb or slang. You have to tell me the interpretation. All right. You've got three okay. lifelines. One, uh, I will draw you the meaning from memory. Two, you can ask the audience. Uh, you can ask my mom or my dad. And three, you can, uh, I will describe your espanol por tu. <laughs> si quieres. Yes. <laughs> Are you ready si, to begin? Si. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Do you speak Spanish? Vamos. Vamos, she says. Vamos. I think she means vamanos. So let's do this thing. <laughs> okay, so what does it mean if someone sick no? Someone doesn't eat. I know nothing. Okay, final answer. <laughs> Sick, no, that means eat brain. That means someone's smart. Next one is. Something about like milk from a cow. <laughs> am I wrong or am I wrong? In this round. Can I hear the proper pronunciation? I'm gone. Right? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, that's what I said. Something about like if you don't ah, drink. Don't, 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 don't. If you don't drink, something happens. <laughs> yes, that is the gist of it. <laughs> Alright, I need a lifeline up in here. Which one do you want to use? Ask the audience? I'm gonna say yes, ask the audience. So what you ask? Oh yeah, mommy, you see Yes. Like lead a horse to water, but you can't Exactly. You can lead a horse to water but you can't make a drink. Ying You can bring a horse. You can bring them to water, but you can't make them drink. So that's what it means. I will give you that point. <laughs> Next one. This is a sort sort day. What if someone is sort sort? Oh, that means like they're. Is that sort sort day? Sort sort day. Is that they're crazy? <laughs> they're like silly, silly person. I'll take it. The crazy person. And actually, I, I include it because it comes from English short circuit. So you're like, sot sot day, you're like short circuited. Oh, okay, yeah. next one. <clears throat> Doing ngao tan kam. Something about a gu guitar. Yes. You can ask me what one of the words means if you like. Doing ngao. What does that mean? <laughs> Doing ngao. Well, that's two words, but it means, <laughs> it means facing a cow. <laughs> facing a cow guitar. Facing a cow guitar. You don't get points for little or translation. No. <laughs> Why? So that means like the cow is getting like milked from you playing the guitar. Final answer. Yeah. Milking a cow with a guitar is not the answer. <laughs> it means you're playing or talking to someone who can't understand. I don't think that's that much of a stretch. No. All right, next one. This is a hard one. Chuk do look. Sick teat gawk. So I'll tell you now, chuk do look, that means catching a deer. I'm sick cheat gawk. Okay, that means you catch a deer, but you don't know what to do with it. Like you don't know how to cut it open. And so how do you interpret that? I don't know, man. Predator versus prey versus predator. <laughs> so this is a Darwinian, Darwinian question. Oh, survival of the fittest. Final answer? Yes. Wrong. Uh, that means you can't make the best of an opportunity. You can catch that deer, but you can't move uh. its antlers. Can't make the best of an opportunity. Okay, so what is... Go. Oh, joy. Joy, something about your your mouth. That's right. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. You want, you want to eat. Oh, no, that means you, you want to kiss someone. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. It's you're always hungry. Okay, final answer? Yep. Always hungry. That's not right. Oh joy, that means uh, you're shocked and amazed so much that your lips are making an O. Uh, two points on the board so far. Uh, this one's Dai Joe Dean. What's the Dai Joe Dean? Big. Joe Dean means uh, hotel. Mm, hotel. Remember, you still have uh, two lifelines. Okay, the hotel, motel, questions. holiday inn. So, okay, so this is a <laughs> rapper's, uh, rapper's delight. Yes. No, the big hotel is a funeral home. So if someone's going to the big hotel, that means they're dead. Boy. Okay, what is a Dai Tao Ha? Okay, something a big shrimp. You've got two que there you go, three questions left in two lifelines. A big headed shrimp. That's right. What does it mean? If I call someone a Dai Tao Ha? Stubborn person. Stubborn person. Well, I will Someone give that's you, full of themselves. I will give you half a point. The answer is <gasps> an absent-minded person. Oh, you ain't nothing but a big-headed shrimp. You're absent-minded. I've never heard of that phrase. I know you've never. That's what's the point of this game show. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> okay, so now you have two questions and two lifelines. Next one. Oh, this is a really funny one. It's Jung Tao Zhang. Jung Tao Zhang. You won something. Yep. You won a head. You won like sauce. <laughs> no, it's a different tone. <laughs> you won the lottery. That's the literal meaning, but what's the metaphorical <laughs> meaning? Uh, I'm telling you, you have two questions and two lifelines. You might want to use one of those lifelines. Okay, fine. Wikipedia. That's not, no, the lifelines this round <laughs> are, I can draw it for you or yeah. I can describe it in Spanish. <laughs> Describe it in Spanish or talk real slow. Because, <laughs> yo, I gotta, mm, gotta go back in time. Jung Tao Jung. That means, uh, cuando hay una animal pone mierda. Whoa, whoa, so, whew. When there's an animal hmm? pone, you I can't. I say bird. You can. A pájaro? Uh, pájaro. Cuando una pájaro pone mierda en tu cabeza. Mierda. I forgot what mierda means. Something about like a parrot. A bird. Polly want a cracker. <laughs> is that your answer? No, I think, isn't mierda shit? Mierda? Yes. Like, so when a bird shits on your head. Oh, sh all right. Okay, when... well this, okay, Max just gave you the answer, so I'm no, gonna deduct a point from him and give it to you. No, it's good when a bird poops on your head. No, the, it's <laughs> Jung Tao Jung. It's, it's like a pun, it's Jung Tao Jung. It means you win that the top prize or the head prize, but also they say it to mean a bird pooped on your head, whereas you won the head prize. And I've, well, I've included it because I believe one of us Jung to Tao Jung at some point. <laughs> if I remember, someone Jung to Tao Jung when she was a kid. <laughs> anyway, I will give you half a point for that since Max butted in and interrupted my awesome Spanish. <laughs> and the last one, Dai Gut Lysi. I'm just gonna like skip to drawing big, it for you. A big belly, and you're giving it a, you're given a red envelope. You said Lysi. Yes, He's that's like, the translation. <laughs> Why can't I get points for that? <laughs> Yo, is that a tree? Yep. Oh, okay. Really, this is really hard. This is a level five difficulty question. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Okay, it's either that or it's like the garden of the forbidden fruit. No, I'm gonna go with my first one. Like the apple doesn't far. No, no, no. Forbidden. I don't know that story about the forbidden fruit. Okay. Yeah, Adam and Eve kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Wrong. <laughs> no. The answer. I don't even know what it means. Why it means this, but I got my seat. Means knock on wood. So that's why I have the tree, knock on wood. Knock on wood? You knock should have wood. drew like a wood plank. Worst you, I'm gonna draw like a bark. Worst. You get what you get with no complaining. Uh. All right, congratulations with two half points. You come to three points for this round, earning you the uh, uh, the status of- I don't wanna be a silkworm. Yes, your status <laughs> is that. soybean. <laughs> that is your prize, so thank you. It looks like someone <laughs> put this bag I in the bag. <laughs> Until someone that. takes it, you get this delicious bag of ramen noodles. Enjoy. Don't put it back. Stop putting your prizes back in the prize pouch. Otherwise, this is what happens. Thank you for watching Chinese Catchphrase. I'm Adam Jang. Stay tuned for next episode when we have Steven take on Cantonese slang.